This session, lawmakers passed what they're calling one of the biggest school safety packages in the state's history. But as News 4 San Antonio's Matt Roy explains, experts and local superintendents say the bill is more of a hindrance than a benefit. The legislature's school safety package is on its way to the governor's desk. This is something that is probably not acceptable to many school districts because it costs too much money. House Bill 3 is the state's response to the Uvalde massacre. One part of the bill requires every school in Texas to have an armed officer or personnel on campus, but doesn't give districts enough money to pay for it. Until it becomes an unfunded mandate. Now, we're going to require you to do this, but we're not going to give you the money for it. Without the appropriate funding support, it, it is going to be very challenging. Newly appointed Northside Superintendent John Kraft says the bill gives them about $2.8 million, which only funds 30 percent of what they would need to fully implement the new legislation. We're def definitely going to have to cut into uh, the general fund uh, uh, to ensure that, like I say, uh, we're meeting all the requirements that have been prescribed with House Bill 3. I think it is a Band-Aid. Small school districts like Edgewood will have to put their finances under a microscope to comply. It is going to make us really question every single purchase that we have, everything from uh, supplies to supports around the classroom. According to the bill, the armed person doesn't have to be an officer. It can be a school marshal or school district employee. It's a hindrance because I have yet to meet a teacher who says, I want to be the teacher who has the gun. Northeast Superintendent Sean Micah says other parts of the bill, like sharing threat assessment data and mandatory mental health training, are extremely helpful, though. But there are pieces in that House bill that I believe are, are definitely beneficial for the system and will help maintain safety. But overall, the sentiment is anything but positive. That's uh, between lipstick and a pig and doing something. This is basically not quite window dressing, but a little bit more than that, but not much more. Matt Roy News 4, San Antonio. Join us tomorrow right here at 10 for a deeper look at the funding behind your child's education, what the legislature did and didn't do to help your child and teachers. That's tomorrow night at 10.